Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. My name's Kyle. I'm an, I'm and I'm still your host for this Let's Play. So let's get started. In the last episode, we completed the Avon Forest mission and the Avon Training Grounds mission, and the Scrub Run of the World killed himself making a simple jump. <sighs> In this episode, we're gonna do the mercenary activity on Tatooine mission because we're just gonna go down these in order. And, yeah, I couldn't figure out a way to get the blinking to go away at the beginning of the game, sorry. Um, and there weren't any secrets, and I was right in that there weren't any secrets in the first two er in the first two levels. There are, there is one in this area, but I do have that marked down for us. Alright, um, the briefing is, um, yeah. Give us, give you a moment here. Uh, hold on. Okay, uh, that should be all the briefing. Yes, good, but the mission is this smugglers. This sounds like it could be nasty, so I'll be going with you. You'll find some of the galaxy's worst lowlifes on Tatooine. A more, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. All oh, right, right on. Here we get to choose our force powers to upgrade. Here we have our, our basic, our primary eight force powers. Force jump, force pull, force push, force sense, lightsaber throw, lightsaber offense, Lightsaber defense. Okay. And for speed, you can't actually manually upgrade these. They progress naturally and cannot be chosen. See? It tells you right down there at the bottom. Now over here we got our light side powers, force absorption, which absorbs dark force powers like force push and force pull and all that happy stuff. Don't need it. Force heal, which will let you heal after an injury. I'm not going to take it yet because I don't really need it. Mind trick, confuser and Confuse or misdirect attention. Uh, force protection, which is really useful very later in the game, but I'm not going to get it yet either. Dark side, force rage, essentially makes you invulnerable. It's uh, it's it's helpful, but it also drains your health. That's less helpful. Lightning, which is as helpful as it always is, meaning very force grip. Fun, but uh, fun is heck in some help in some instances, and very helpful in others. Force drain, drains HP from an enemy. I'm actually going to take that because. That's actually kind of fun. Let's move on to our weapons. If you don't like, if you make a selection, then change your mind before you push weapons. Click that power again to deselect it. We're gonna take force drain because it's helpful, and I don't really need heal. Now, for weapons, you always have to bring your lightsaber and your DL44 heavy blaster pistol. You will never freaking need this. Um, then you get to pick some weapons. The E11 blaster rifle. Um, never actually pick this as a weapon. And I'll tell you why. Not because it's necessarily a bad weapon, it's alright, but because the game hands this one to you a lot. Um, the boat, the Wookiee boat, its primary fire is a slow shot with decent accuracy, its secondary fire is a very fast shot with no ac no accuracy, but it's the one you're going to see everybody use. The 10 Lost DXR-6 Disruptor Rifle is basically a sniper rifle. The, sink, the primary fire is useless. Um, the secondary fire is much more helpful, since you can charge that one, and it's to kill enemies with it. It uses a lot of ammo, but you get it back pretty quickly. The Wookiee Bowcaster, which looks stupid and frankly is stupid. The primary fire can ricochet. Um, no, sorry, the secondary fire ricochets. The primary fire can charge. I don't use it very much. And the Destructive Electromagnetic Pulse 2 gun, commonly referred to as the DEMP-2, is primarily... Uh, was designed to take out droids, and can single shot, can stun humans, and can explode with secondary fire, making it kind of a, a lame grenade launcher. <laughs> so we're going to take the Wookiee Bowcaster and the Disruptor Rifle, the Bowcaster simply because this thing sucks, and they'll give it, and we'll get one of those. Explosives over here, you can pick the Thermal Detonator, which is a grenade. Um, detonation packs, which are mines, um, which you have to set off, they don't go off automatically, and trip mines, which are tripwire mines. We're going to take grenades, because the rest of it's kind of useless. Onward and upward, my friends! Oh, and hey, here's more, here's where you can pause to read the briefing, but again, the gist of it is mercenaries and smugglers, so, yeah. Smugglers! Cutscenes. Well, I'll 
be the Millennium Falcon. Han, Chewie, anybody here? No. Yes, they're out. Luke's info is good. These are definitely freelance cargo ships. We're gonna be doing one mission per episode for these five missions. Got a bad feeling about this. Listen, stay here and guard the entrance to the docking bay. If anyone tries to enter or leave, detain them. I'll head over to the crate cantina and ask around. I know some people there. And I'll see how long, roughly. I think the in there's some longer missions in between the main, the five selectable ones, and I mean a lot longer. So I'll see how about how I'm gonna break them down. That sounds like trouble. A Jedi? Me? No, not yet. I'm one of Kyle Katarn's students. He's talking to some locals. We're investigating a cult that's been cropping up everywhere. You must be Chewbacca. Why are you here? <laughs> Leia Organa? Wow. Must be important business. Huh? What's your uh, that sounded offensive. <laughs> hey, put that down. Alright, really quick, we're gonna run up here to prove that there's nothing of interest up here. Uh huh. And get and put brain on our quick slide. Alright. Really quick, I'm gonna show off my guns. Starting with the blaster pistol. It's got a charge shot. And there's our stormtrooper rifle. Got the blaster pistol here. Charge this up. Take him out. Let's grab the rookie bowcaster really quick. For the spread shot. And that's that. Now we'll show off the blaster pistol. Whew, that was loud. Alright. Ooh. Imperial Repeater. This is another d good gun. Yeah. It's got an explosive shot that's actually pretty good. And it fires like a machine gun. Unfortunately, we don't have much ammo for it. But our main weapon is going to be the lightsaber because, dude, this is a Star Wars game. Ammo, ammo refill right here. Let's grab that. Actually, let's pop back in here because I think I'm forgetting something. Not a secret mind, but I'm pretty sure there's some energy packs or something like that I missed in here. Ha! Belt of grenades health. Okay. If you really need them, then... No. Let's grab our grenades really quick so I can demonstrate. No more health. Is it just me, or are the Rodians kind of creepy? And that's how grenades work. Alright, since we took damage and we won't be coming back this way, let's grab that health. Could go grab those grenades. Oi! But since we don't, we since I don't cover. mainline grenades, grab that. Peter, I see you there. And you. Droid. Another dude over here. Oh, it's a monkey bowcaster. I know they're going to bring that. I brought the DMP so I can show you that. I forgot about that. Uh, this dude. Pop up here and grab these grenades. More dudes. And they tractor beam our ships. 
and that's going to be the main focus of the mission is getting those tractor beams taken down, so let's move on. We can't get to the ships. The whole place is locked down. Alright, no, I don't think, yeah, this ain't the place. Grenades! We're gonna head in here. I will not. Oh, jeez. Alright. Let's see. Plot progression is this way. That's supposed to be the even hawk. Okay, then. Anyways, we want to go this way. Because the only secret in the level is back here. It's got some grenades for you if you need them. And a large shield booster, which we actually do need. Let's move on. No! Dang it, game, get up here. I want to jump on the ship. I don't think there, there's nothing up on the ship, but I think it's just kind of fun to bounce around. <laughs> Actually, there could be something up here. We're not supposed to be up there yet, so let's move on. That's actually a shortcut, I think. Because I think you can hop up, hop up here. And I might be wrong, but I think you can hop up here and head in there. No, no, okay. I'm thinking about over there, I guess. But you can't hop up to, so let's move on. I was wrong. But there's goons hiding in here, I believe. So there they are. couple Rodians and a couple more ugly dudes. That is a goofy, goofy run animation. Well, we're not going back out that way. Who gave you permission to survive? Grab that health. Alright. In here. More ammo. Which we of course want. Now really quick, after we clean out this area, I'm going to show something off. Why do I bother with that? We got this guy here. That takes care of him. Now, really quick, I'm going to show you how to disarm mines. You see that little triangle-looking thing up there? Shoot that a few times. Most of the time, you won't be able to get around mines as easily as I did this time. So it is imperative that you learn how to disarm mines. Now then, let's move on. Actually, I want my repeater out. So this guy is a pain in the butt. I'm not sure he didn't lob another one at me. Okay, we don't need his grenades, but I don't th and I don't think there's anything down here. No, there's not. Um, we want our lightsaber. Get the lightsaber back out. Lightsaber! You're on top of things. Alright, we're gonna drain this shield. Just to get our shield back up. And this is actually going much better than when I tried this level in my test run. <laughs> or my other play file, I guess. Either way, there's gonna be a dude come out here. Cut him down. Or shoot him down as I go. This dude here. You're not paying much attention, buddy. Okay, that's 
Fight! Alright. That was lame. Yeah, the early reborn, these dudes here, aren't very hard. Now, if I recall correctly, you can actually... Uh, if you're fast, you can force pull their lightsabers up and pick them up as weapons. Which lets you use uh, dual saber and saber staff early on. Down you go. So down you go. But I don't think you can keep them between levels. There we go. Alright, um... This store, I believe it is? No. It's not this one. Oh, it is this one. Where are you at, Chewie? There you are. Alright, there's the door. And here's our ticket out of here. Stop that. Free target practice. Hey, you stop it. All we gotta do is clean out the rest of the dudes here and we are free to go. Oi! Thought you could be stealthy, huh? I think that's everybody. And there's the bearded wonder. Oh, did I miss something? Yes. The entire stage. <laughs> Good to see you too, Chewie. Guess these mercs didn't want us here. <laughs> Wookie noogie. Oh, that's high praise coming from a Wookie. Thanks. I think. These mercs aren't cheap. Someone in this cult must have a lot of credits. Or worse, it's backed by the remnant. Listen, we gotta get back to Luke and tell him what's going on. Can you tell Leia about the cult? Uh, mm, Relax, Han. If he hadn't shown up when he did, I'd have been in a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, well, the way Chewie tells it, you held your own. Nice work. Yeah, Chewie did better than the Scrub Wonder of the World. told me about what happened to Moss Eisley. It's a good thing Chewie was there, but you did well regardless. Where the heck's Han? It looks like this cult and the Imperials may be working together more closely than we thought. So we didn't need to use drain like at all. <laughs> but still, it's a good thing I picked it up. We've been looking into the shuttle crash, and it doesn't look like laser damage or mechanical failure was responsible. It's almost as if something just tore apart the engines. Alright, that was fun. Alright, the next episode, the next level is Droid Recovery. I'm trying to think. The game doesn't autosave very well. The game's autosave is a little troublesome. I should have quick saved back there, or er, saved back there. Oh, piss in a biscuit. Um. Right. Okay, um, I will figure out how I'm going to handle this in between episodes. In the meantime, um, in the next episode, we will do the droid recovery on Tatooine. In the meantime, this has been Basilisk, and um, I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you, and good night, folks.